What's going on, everybody? I'm Jabby Kuwait, joined by Steph Sabra. Hello. What up, bro? What up? We're looking at the story of PM Modi and the U.S. from Brett India. Thanks so much for joining us, you guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. And while you're subscribing and upvoting, subscribe to Brett India. There's a link in the description below, so you can click on that link, give the original video an upvote, and subscribe to them from there. All right, here we go. He once survived an attack by a crocodile. So he's tough. Everybody loves him, but I will tell you this, he's very tough. <laughs> Seems to be the consistent theme. existing visa was revoked uh, because under the terms of our law the person in question did not did not qualify for a visa given his involvement in or not his involvement given given um, the findings of of Indian commissions in investigating uh, actions or lack of actions by state institutions in religious conflict in in Gujarat state did that guy sound confident to you? That guy sounded like he was kind of finding his words on the fly. That was the definition of allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> that was this long, like, uh, d- 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 Indian. Right. Like, what the hell? Why were you struggling so hard? Don't you prep before going live right. with, the, with the press? Well, I feel like sometimes they're like, do it. Just do it. Yeah, just Say get, something. Just get out there. Right. We got 18 stories to crush. Just This is just one of them. Make yeah. something good. And, and you, when you're doing these things, you probably have no idea, like, what this is going to mean mean 20 years from right. now context it's like for him it was just a tuesday three o'clock you know but for us it's like this is how it means historically right yeah. future president <laughs> yeah it's a nice that's a nice suit america ke beach mars par summit ke baad ab yeah summit Nice joke. The dad jokes between leaders of countries are funny. What do you think of Obama's thinking in that moment? You know, because you're just sitting there while someone's speaking in a language you don't speak. Oh, yeah. And he's just kind of like nodding along. He might have an earpiece in, right? Oh, that's true. He could have an earpiece. But my impression is that like they kind of have an agreement about what is being kind of conveyed to the public. Right, right. You know, in that moment. And so as a president, you just have to look regal and listen and pretend that it's interesting, even though you have no idea what the heck is being said. Smile and wave, boys. (laughs) Smile and wave. New York, baby. We love the Pope. I don't know. हमारे देश को साफ सफेदों वालों का देश माना जाता था. अगर आप now it's known as RRR. पीड़ी ना होती. Information technology के क्षेत्र में आप लोगों ने जो कमाल करके दिखाई है. The the music's funny. It is like where are we going? Our newspapers back home wrote. Move aside, Michelle Obama, the world has a new fashion icon. It's an honor to be welcoming Prime Minister Modi to Silicon Valley this coming weekend. Everybody loves him, but I will tell you this, he's very tough. (gasps) He's like, you're in my shot. That was hilarious. (laughs) 
imagine Joe Biden's relief? He's shaking hands with someone who's real. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I will say he is a well-dressed man. Yeah. Who would win in a Gracie Jiu-Jitsu match between Modi and Zuckerberg? You know that he's going to fight Elon Musk, yeah. right? <laughs> I don't like either of them, but I hope Zuckerberg <laughs> crushes chokes him out. <laughs> U.S. exports to India are up nearly 60. I think there's um, several perspectives on that whole thing. Um, the one is that Russia had India's back when U.S. was supporting Pakistan during the conflict between India and Pakistan. Mm -hmm. um, and so there is this sort of loyalty, I suppose, that has been talked about. But the other thing is, like, it doesn't make sense for India to try and have a conflict with Russia for reasons that I, I could not possibly begin to try to explain because I barely understand it myself. Other than it's like it, India doesn't want to be on Russia's bad side, something right. like that, you know? Yeah. And to be fair, England was is still or either was or is still buying oil from Russia. Yeah. Russia for India was uh, mm. out of necessity, there you go. a partner uh, of choice uh, when we were not in a position uh, to mm. be a partner. Mm. That was a Music is killing me. <laughs> Push. Everybody wants a piece of India. Yeah. Everybody wants a piece of India. What must that be like for you guys? Just knowing that you are like the desired audience, you know? Years ago, and it's, I, I think I just mentioned this in a live stream, Mark Zuckerberg tried to be at the forefront of that. He had created these um, aircrafts or these things that like fly over India to provide Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi, free internet. And it was this kind of altruistic thing, but really it was an ulterior thing because he wanted to get more Facebook users. Mm -hmm. You know, he was, but he's like, well, if I give them free internet, I will have more customers. That's the idea, long run, right? And it got rejected and instead they, instead they went with, um, well, he got, it didn't win. Mm -hmm. But, you know, long term, everybody wants India. They want the purchase power from India, you know? The, and so I think that um, them shifting Apple to India was also a, such a huge, huge deal. It was it was like a slap in the face of China, which honestly, if I'm being completely transparent, I was happy about because the, the stuff going on in China really concerns me. Yeah, um, yeah, like to say the least. Yeah, it's tremendously. So scary. So um, this is interesting. I, I thought they were going to go into more detail about Modi and like his upbringing and all that stuff, but I suppose we have a, a movie or documentaries for that. So right, I really do want to know more about him. He's such a divisive, as all major leaders of major countries. You have both sides of the aisle: people who love you or people who don't like you because they just don't agree with your decisions or how you had to make certain choices. Uh, nonetheless, he's fascinating, and even more so, the in Indian history is just unbelievably rich in so many things that have happened yeah. and for them like you said to now be at the forefront of everyone wants to be on india's side yeah from where they were you know even 50 years ago it's mm -hmm. wild yeah as soon as you said like most world leaders are divisive i made, i immediately wondered how divisive Andrew, uh, justin trudeau is <laughs> I oh, yeah. But anyway, that's another conversation. He's very chill. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Of, of the divisiveness, he's yeah. pretty chill. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just, as long as he's not doing blackface, everybody's happy. Yeah, you right. Guys, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. I'm Jabby Koi. This is... Stuff's Peace out.